This paper presents an approach for generating realistic human motions from a variety of user-defined spatial temporal constraints using human motion priors. The keyframes used to generate a Mickey Mouse styled motion. The resulting motion. The keyframes for a baby's walk. The resulting motion. A jumping motion. A running motion. Climbing an obstacle. The user defines a sparse set of keyframes and foot contact constraints to generate walking and sitting down. Walking and picking up an object. The user specifies a small set of key trajectories to generate a jumping motion. Our system can retarget the motion to animate a new character, the source motion. Here is the result. The system can modify a normal walking sequence to create a new walking motion, the source motion. Walking on a slope. Walking with a small step. The same algorithm can also be applied to generate facial animation from user-defined constraints. Result from three keyframes and one key trajectory. Result from a sparse set of position constraints on a 2D screen space. Result from key trajectory constraints. We evaluate the importance of our statistical model by dropping off terms from the model. The user-defined constraints. We show the comparison between our method and linear interpolation with the same set of keyframes. Result using inverse kinematics. Result after we apply inverse kinematics to the PCA subspace. Our result. The user-defined constraints. Results using inverse kinematics. Result after we do inverse kinematics in a PCA subspace. Our result. We evaluate the importance of a database to the final animation under the same set of user-defined constraints. We first compare results from the keyframe constraints. Here is the input. Result from a locomotion database. Result from a running database. Result from a hopping database. Result from a jumping database. Result from a walking database. We compare results from the same set of trajectory constraints. Here is the input. Result from a locomotion database. Result from a walking database. Result from a jumping database. We evaluate the performance of our algorithm in terms of the number of user-defined constraints via cross-validation. Here is a testing motion. Result from four keyframes. Result from six keyframes. Result from four key trajectories. Result from six key trajectories. We show a side-by-side -side comparison between ground truth data and synthesize results. The ground truth motion, result from six keyframes. The ground truth motion, result from five key trajectories. The user can generate a desired animation by incrementally adding constraints. A bad jump generated by initial key trajectory constraints. A good jumping motion generated by adding the position constraints of both hands in the first frame. A slightly different jumping motion after adjusting the positions of both hands in the highest jumping point. Another slightly different jumping motion after adjusting the positions of both hands in the highest jumping point.